Bang, bang. Welcome back to the Weapon X program. I am your host, Weapon X, and today I got something real special for y'all. We're going to talk about something a little bit different today. We're going to talk about one rifle, one handgun, one shotgun. All right? We're going to do a threesome. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about it. If you was at war or you was at the gun range or you was at a gun store and you had to pick your favorite rifle, handgun, shotgun, which one would it be? Me, personally, on my rifle, I'm going to go with this right here. Y'all know what this is. This is the IWI Tavor, chambered in 556223. Let's show that the weapon is clear. Weapon is clear and it's on safe. Alright. IWI Tavor. Bullpup platform. Now, the reason I will pick this right here is because it shoulders really well for one. For two, it's a bullpup, y'all. You know what I mean? You can get in and out of your vehicles with this, in and out of corners with this. You know what I mean? If you're clearing your house, if you choose to use something like this for your house, you know, you could clear the crib with this. It ain't got to be a long AR or M16. You know what I'm saying? This is about the shortest barrel we can get a 16 inch in New Jersey. So I like IWI. You know what I mean? Their products are super reliable. I never had no jams, no misfeeds. With this right here, you ready for war. This is an all-purpose rifle right here. If you need to take down some game, get you some food, 223, going to do the job. You know what I mean? If you want to stretch out and hit something a little bit further, you know, hey, man, you got your 77 grainers, them joints to reach out. You know what I mean? With accuracy, you know? If you want to push this bad boy to about 400 yards, you know, you can do that. But this is a, a real good close quarter combat weapon right here. You know what I'm saying? You can you can do some some damage with this, man. This is an all-around, all-purpose rifle, I, I say. I got a Bushmaster XM chambered in 556-223. It's a little heavy. It's kind of long. You know what I'm saying? But... This one right here is just short, and it's equipped with everything. You got that green laser over there, you know what I mean? Hit the switch. You got that flashlight over there, you know what I mean? You want to go here, you got your floodlight, your little toggle switch where you, you know what I mean? For uh, real low light situations, you hit that joint. Got flashlight laser on this side. You got a um a magnifying scope right here. I forgot the distance it go out to, but you know, you can, like I said, you can push out pretty far with this jammy right here. I done shot over a hundred yards with this one right here out in PA. You know, thanks to Sunset Hills. But if I had one choice, one rifle, this would be it right here. The IWI Tavor. You know, I know a lot of y'all gonna not agree with me on this one, but for me personally, because the ammo cheaper than 308, you know what I mean? As far as rifles under 22, long rifle and a 22 mag, I say this like the cheapest to shoot. Unless you're doing a, um, a pistol caliber carbine. But if you want some real hitting power, something that's coming out real fast, the IWI Tavor. This your best bet right here. Bull pup. You can shoot with one hand. All the weight is back here on your shoulder. You ain't got to worry about too much muzzle rise with this. It's coming straight back into the shoulder. You know? Um, great weapon. Great weapon. So, that's my pick on my go to war battle rifle. The IWI Tavor. I mean, look at that thing, man. Don't it look like it's ready for war? Don't it look like it's ready for war? It look like it's ready for war, right? <laughs> yes, it do. You see the red skull. You know what I mean? 
got the red and black theme going on, but that ain't what this about. IWI to war, bullpup. Put in the comments what would be your go to war, one rifle you had to pick from. Moving on. On a pistol tip, my personal favorite. If I had one semi-automatic pistol to choose from, this is my personal choice right here. This one is the IWI 941 Jericho, Baby Desert Eagle. I know all y'all know that name, Desert Eagle, but it's the 9mm version. When I say super accurate, super reliable, no jams, no misfeeds, none of that. The perfect grip in my hand, the grip texturing, I put skateboard tape on there. I modified that myself. Got the skateboard tape up there. On purchase, it was pretty, you know, smooth. They had a smooth grip to it, so I just threw this up there for some texturing. Like right now, I got a little grease on my hand, lotion or whatever, shea butter. Thanks to my niece, Ashley Nevels. Check out her website. Matter of fact, let me hit her with a plug real quick. You dig? Yeah. That's that shea butter right there. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, <laughs> got to plug my family, you know what I'm saying? We all entrepreneurs trying to do our thing, you know what I mean? Yo, so, IWI, to, uh, I'm about to say Tavor, IWI 941 Jericho, Baby Desert Eagle. That's a long name. I'm going to just call it the Baby Desert Eagle. This right here is a monster. Like I said, accurate like a mother, you know what I mean? Perfect grip. You know what I mean? Got the Picatinny rails down there where you can put you a light laser. A lot of these, you know, ready to joint, ready to go to war joints don't be having that, you know, that feature down there where you can put something down there. This one do. What else can I say about this? Of course, you got your manual safety up here. It's easy to break down in the field. You know what I mean? You don't need no tools with this easy to break down and yes the weapon is clear clear see that nothing put that back in there because you know it looks good with the mag in there i love this weapon right here really good grip you see got the finger grooves but these finger grooves fit my hand perfectly and when i say i'm a monster i'm a beast with this right here the accuracy is real you know what i mean Target sights on there. You know what I mean? Your regular three dot sights, white dot. But what I said before in one of my previous videos, the barrel doesn't camp. It goes straight back. See, there's no tilting with this barrel. So that gives you really super good accuracy. You know what I'm saying? So when you firing this thing off rapidly, or you taking your time, or you target practicing, really, really dope. I love that feature with this weapon, man. It's almost like a, a CZ-75. This is a clone of it. Ready, battle proven. This is what the Israeli army use over there in Israel and a couple other countries. Yeah. Really super reliable. Get a look at that. Baby Desert Eagle. Jericho. IWI. Now I know some of y'all going to say, nah, I'm going to go with a Glock. And that's cool. This is my video. So this is my choice, my preference, what I go with. You know what I mean? I've shot those weapons. I've shot Glocks and SIGs. This is more comfortable in my hand. And I'm more accurate with this weapon right here. So... I like this one. You know what I mean? The IWI to war. I showed y'all previously, and this the IWI Baby Desert Eagle. 
the Jericho. See, I got my name on there, the Reaper. Moving on to the next one. Now we're going to go to the shotgun. My pick for my shotgun will be a bullpup platform. Nice, ain't that? Nice, short. You know what I mean? Got a detachable mag. Let's make sure it's clear. And this the self-assisting. You know what I'm saying? Automatic assist. Once I cock it back, it just go. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't going to get no short strokes. When you're trying to stroke it, you ain't going to get no short strokes. You're going to get, it's going to help you. You know what I mean? I like that. One of the first joints I ever seen like that. So, for my third choice, for my uh, shotgun, I'm going to pick the Black Ace Tactical Bullpup. This right here, great for clearing rooms. You know what I'm saying? You can get in and out of your vehicle with this. See, that barrel ain't too long. Most shotguns nowadays, they're 18 inches, 16, 20, 20 inches, 22 inches. You know, that's that's cool, but I need something short and compact. So when I'm rolling around, you know what I mean? This can come with me. Look how it's shoulder. Look how short it is, man. I want y'all to really understand how short this weapon is. Look at that. Got the flip up sights. Put them down if you don't need them. Optic up top. That ain't even the topic of discussion though. But I'll take this because with a, a standard, you only can hold maybe five to seven rounds with a standard shotgun. With a bullpup platform, detachable mags, you can have five rounders. You can have 10 rounders, 15 rounders, 20, 40 rounds, you know what I mean? And you know, you can you can you can reload quicker. When it's time to, you know, dump off, boom, 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 boom. You dump off your load, boom, you ready to switch back instead of, you know, trying to push a man in a you know standard magazine tube. You just loading, loading while you doing all that. I'm popping out the mag. Putting in another mag. And I'm back in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Pop them sights up. If my, if my optic go down. Great weapon, man. Short ballpark platform. You can't go wrong with that. Now, the shortest that come to this, I believe, is the Mossberg Shockwave. Another good one. But you limit it to about four to five rounds. If you use the mini shells, then you'll probably get more than that. But I'm going to take this. Plus, I've shot that weapon before, and it ain't too comfortable. That's not something, you know, you want to really be trying to defend yourself with. Or, you know, you can't shoulder it for one. You can put it to your cheek, but you're really going to hurt yourself. This right here, like I said, bullpup platform. Look how short that is. Look how short that is. I'll put my arm out. That's the length of my arm. Regular shoddy body. It's going to be longer than this. I love this weapon right here. Fully customized too. But like I said, that ain't what we're here for. We're talking about if you had three weapons to choose from. One long Rifle, one semi-automatic handgun, and one shotgun. It could be the choice of yours. It don't matter. You want a semi-auto shot, pump, or you want the good, you know, old school automatic. Too bad we can't get the fully autos, but it is what it is. And then let me give you a little comparison here. Here's the IWI, and here's this one. Actually, my Tavor is shorter than this. 
So this is probably an 18. I believe this is an 18-inch barrel. This one right here is a 16. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, 16, 17, 18. So this is an 18-inch right here, but look how short it is in a bullpup form. You know what I mean? Both of these bad boys, man really short now you couldn't do this with a regular shoddy body and a regular ar-15 you couldn't wheel both of these at one time you know what i mean this one i could keep firing this one of course i gotta pump it but you know what i'm saying so on that note leave in the comments like share subscribe let me know which one would you pick if you had your three go to war battle ready weapons all right leave in the comment and i know y'all gonna say oh man why would you go with something that ain't battle proven do your research iwi is battle proven all right use the internet wisely so on that note i'm gonna say it's time for another watch review ha <laughs> On the Weapon X channel, we always do this, so always be prepared for it. Today I have something real nice for you. I have, get a look at it first. You see it? Is that a Roly? Nah. It's the Invector Pro Diver Propeller Model. Check that out. 52 millimeter bezel all gold this that brushed gold this ain't that shiny shiny this that brushed gold check that out I'm trying to master it without getting all that light in there see that but check this feature out see the propeller right there propeller there and the propeller there look how they move when you when you turn the bezel check that out see the propeller spinning see the propeller spinning as i'm spinning the dial yeah see the propellers moving yeah it's probably hard to see it on camera but i thought that was a dope feature that was the selling point of this watch for me you know what i mean plus it looked good this one, you can go 300 millimeters in the water, shower, whatever you're doing, jacuzzi. Yeah, see that light? There we go. Yeah, let me see it. It's hard to do it. All right, there we go. See how them propellers move? See the little propeller right there? See it moving as I turn? All of them turn. That's dope. <laughs> but I ain't going to hold you. On that note, like I said, like, share, subscribe. If you had three weapons to choose from, one rifle, one semi-auto handgun, and one shotgun, which one would it be? <laughs> All right, so on that note, I'm going to say peace, love, and pistol grease. Y'all be easy. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Peace.